Hi, my name is Janne Hakkarainen. I'm a mathematician, and I have an amazing new formula to calculate where in the world man-made greenhouse gases come from. But first, let's talk a little bit about climate change. You all know climate change, and we all have seen news about record-breaking temperatures months after months after months. But these rising temperatures are the symptoms of the climate change, not the cause. And the true cause of the climate change are the man-made greenhouse gas emissions that we get by burning fossil fuels. We know that, for example, the amount of carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere has risen 45% since the Industrial Revolution. My idea to solve this problem is to use modern satellite technology, as satellites have the unique viewpoint to see what's really going on in the atmosphere. As they measure globally, objectively, and without borders, since greenhouse gases really don't like borders, and they like to travel all over the world. So, let me tell you my story. As a mathematician at Finnish Meteorological Institute, I was all new to this greenhouse gas business. But then I did what mathematicians do, and came up with a new formula to extract just the human fingerprint of this heat-trapping carbon dioxide gas. So, how does it work? Well, I took NASA satellite data, applied my formula, and produced the first ever maps of man-made greenhouse gas emissions from space, like the one that you're currently seeing in the background for Middle East. In this map, yellow color tones indicate the largest carbon dioxide emission areas, or what I call CO2 anomalies. So, my vision for the future is to use this modern satellite technology, together with my formula, to monitor the real changes in man-made greenhouse gas emissions and to reveal unreported emission sources, and to compare what is reported to what's actually measured in the atmosphere. So in the future, if some country claims that they have reduced their emissions by 10%, I want to be able to verify this using satellite data, as currently this is not possible. So that's my vision. And finally, I will say that this is only the beginning of this research, and my formula is hungry for more data. I will apply my formula to new data, to map the entire world, and start designing my own satellite instrument, aimed for nanosatellite, as that's where the future of the satellite business is. Thank you. Thank you so much, Janne. Judges. Go ahead, please. Thank, thank you, Janne. Thank uh, you. Are you the only one who can do this? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> and, and why is that? Uh, well, it's a formula that I came up with. So it's a, uh, there are actually not that many people doing this, this uh, part of the satellite, uh, satellite world. So, so people are mainly concern, concerning uh, the biological processes. So I'm, there are maybe like 10 people in the world who are studying this uh, man-made part of the using satellite measurements. So yes. Yeah. What, what are your current uh, data sources? Are you using Planet uh, Platform? Uh, my main sources uh, come from NASA. So I use uh, NASA's OCO2 satellite uh, and their data. And it's uh, open access data, so everybody here and everybody in the audience can use that data. And uh, there are also one uh, Japanese satellite mission and also one Chinese mission that are providing data. But for example, currently the European side doesn't have their own instrument. What would be the new data that you would need to acquire? Uh, I would like to design these kind of small satellites that are of this size. So for example, uh, the budget for NASA's carbon dioxide mission is like 250 million uh, US dollars. So it's c clear that these small satellites cannot compete with one big NASA satellite. But if we can have many of these small satellites, I think they can provide uh, better coverage uh, in comparison to just one big satellite, so if you have five or 10 or 15. <clears throat> Any more questions? So thank you so much, this was great. Uh, I'm, I'm, you're maybe hungry for more data, but I'm more hungry for, tell me how will this actually impact? Tell me more about it. What, what, when, we, when you have it ready, then, then how are we gonna save the world? Well. I want to use this uh, data and this uh, formula to help people. So if, for example, I don't know, some company or some country wants to verify that, oh, we have reduced these emissions, I want to be able to 
say that, oh, you have really done that. Or in the other end, I want to say that uh, if, if we see that someone is polluting uh, CO2, I want to be able to see that, ah, you are not reporting right, and that this kind of way to help to monitor uh, these processes. So let's give a big round of applause Thank to Thank you so much. Thank you. So, to everyone in the audience here, that was the pitching over.